stress is the underlying cause for all health complications. So how do you avoid it or how do you prevent it? Well, you really don't want to prevent it. What you want to do is minimize it because stress is good on some level. You just have to know how to control it and how to adjust it. And the number one way to adjust it is this. change your state. And how do you do that? By engaging in activities that make you feel good. Operating from a place of feeling good, changing your state by laughing instead of being depressed. Quickly snap out of your negative state, negative mood. And it's not easy. The way you do that is by engaging in activities that are going to allow you to feel better. For example, walking. For me, walking puts me in a Zen state. It allows me to connect with nature and I feel good. And it allows me to wind down and simmer down any emotions that I have that are causing chaos inside. So typically walking is a great way to get your emotions to simmer down and to tone down. That will put you in a good place. And so whatever it is for you, whether it's running, whether it's walking, exercising, whatever works for you. Get yourself into a place of feeling good and clearing your mind from any ill emotions or anything that stresses you out. Get yourself in a place of acknowledging those things that make you feel good, those things that make you happy, those things that fuel your soul. They could be playing with your pet. They could be playing with your baby, going out to the park with your child any little thing that's going to interrupt those thoughts that are causing the stress levels to rise do it and that is what will change your state put you in a happier place in a happier state of mind now i know it's not easy to just snap out of a depression or to snap out of anger or to snap out of frustration into a happy zen peaceful kind of place I know it's not easy, which is why you have to find a way to transition from that state into a state of feeling good, a state of happiness, a state of peace and tranquility. And the way you do that is finding that link, that peace in between that's going to help you transition into that happier state. So whether it's walking, running, exercising, whatever it is, that in between link that's going to help you transition into that zen space that happy place do it it could be the beach going to the beach if i was near the beach i'd be going to the beach all the time when i lived in florida i used to go to the beach and that used to be my place of therapy my happy place where i can let everything go and the ocean sounds just crashed and it just made me feel good so you see how that works you get lost in that happy place in that place of zen you get in the zone and in that zone you're feeling connected to your internal self and it's allowing you to calm down to find that place of peace and that's the best way to go about it just find what works for you find your thing whatever that is but connect with it for me it's connecting with nature and listening to nature's sounds it's peaceful to me it feels nice i love it and I get in that calming state and that's the goal to get into that calming state to disrupt the negative emotion disrupt that negative feeling and get into that good feeling state where you can release the negative emotions and get into that state of feeling good then when you start to feel that more and more and more and you start to engage more and more and more in that particular activity everything starts to simmer down you calm down and everything shifts in the direction that you want it to go so your whole physiology starts to shift and starts to change and your life your mental state everything starts to calm down you find that calm that peace and that is what you want you want to interrupt those emotions and shift your state into a happy state and that's how that all works so that is the best way to relieve stress 
That is why yoga and meditation are so good for your body and so good for your soul because you're releasing negative energy. You're changing your state. You're transitioning it into a more peaceful, relaxed state of being. You get in that zone and that's where you want to be, that zone of peace and tranquility and zen and just a happy place. And that, my friends, is how you relieve stress. So tell me, what is one way you like to relieve stress? Put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear all about it. It's always nice to hear what others are doing to find their calm. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos to come.